by educating the majority of the people in this country. Mental health is indeed a global crisis and mental illnesses is a bigger problem in this country and the world as a large. We all know that mental health is increasing daily. And each one of us here knows somebody that is affected somehow or have a related. Either person going through mental health challenges or affected with mental illnesses. As a society, we need to come together and address this common problem. And with togetherness. So your input, your energy for coming toward here, it adds value so much that is going to signal a message in order to change the narrative. So I am calling everyone here heroes and heroines of the future for being here and advocating for mental health, for being part of the change that we want to see in the future. First for all, for over six years now, IVMHO, which is called the International Voluntary Mental Health Organization, has been working to make sure so that mental health is treated equally, just as physical health. Mental health is a problem that exists in our life, uh, families, workplaces, community, affecting everyone. We must do as if we must do as possible to prevent mental ill health as individual and as a society. We will continue to create awareness and call on national and local government to prioritize by reducing the factors known to pose the risks to people with mental health. Enhancing those known to protect it and creating the condition needed for people to thrive. These are some of the values that we have been pushing on. Based on our program as an organization, we are giving home care support program. And this home care support program, this, are, this is for people that are already affected with mental ill challenges. Giving them assistance to reduce the number of relapse, uh, the gap within uh, home level and the hospital. We have found out that many people when they are in the hospital, when, uh, when after discharge they get better, they easily relapse and there is a problem from home level. We realize that there is no significant information from caregivers there. And the misunderstanding and the misconception toward it is high. The stigma and discrimination is high. That's the reason why they will tell you if people are in, uh, in Tanka Tanka Psychiatric Hospital, they recover. When they are discharged, they go back to community, they relapse because there is no holistic approach treatment. And the holistic approach treatment can only come in when the society is playing their role because these are people that come from society and they need to be reintegrated back to community and community need to welcome them and see them. See their sickness as any other sickness, not as a sickness that is discriminated. Uh, a sickness that is discriminated, uh, a sickness that is isolated, a sickness that is not recognized. These are people that need help. Let's just see it just like malaria. Let's just see it let them, uh, like they're having asthma or diabetes. So these are things that our society identify and call. Mental illnesses also, mental disorders are also different kind of diseases that need to be accepted by society. Now, for this year, the team World Mental Health Day, uh, mental health is a universal human right. This is a chance to talk about mental health in general, how we need to look at it, and how important it is to talk about it, things, and to get help if you are struggling. This is a major universal right. Mental health is a universal right. We may talk about this phrase, it's a universal right, we all go, and we act on the opposite. Definitely we cannot call this right. I will then by, let me remind you about most of the challenges that we are going through. But before I say so, I will seek for your support, for you to also reinforce the statement that I will be mentioning. But if I say it, things aren't right then you can also say things aren't right. And I say the third time and explain the reason. 
Will you agree to do that with me? Yes. Thank you so very much. I start by saying things aren't right. Things aren't right when we have our brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, and aunties with mental illnesses loitering on the street without proper care and support. Things aren't right. Things aren't right when we have only 11 psychiatric nurses and three psychiatric doc doctors serving a population of 2.5 million. Things aren't right. Things aren't right when we have the new mental health bill is still kept on table without approval by the minister and we are still using the Colonial Lunatic Act. Things aren't right. Things aren't right when mental health organizations seek support to facilitate their program and don't receive their attention from them. Things aren't right. Things aren't right when the Gambia as a country uh, still does not have a rehabilitation center and our people are abusing drugs and substances daily. Things aren't right. Things aren't right when mental health workers get overwhelmed with too much demand without good salary system. Things aren't right. Things aren't right. Uh, when the national mental health program is being allocated with small budget yearly, things aren't right. Things aren't right, things aren't right when we continue to discriminate and stigmatize people with mental illnesses with the name used such as DOFT. Things aren't right. Things aren't right. But there's a possibility for hope and change. Only together we can make things right. Together we can change the narrative. Together we can turn the opposite to come true and things will be right. I will remind you all by saying mental health is a universal human right and it should be considered important. Thank you. Guys, me and you are thinking for a fun day because we like to have fun. The whole reason that I am here today with you is to uplift. We can uplift ourselves, we can uplift each other and we can uplift therefore society. So today, because it will be broken up into walking, activities, planting trees, what I will be giving you are some activities that you can do with the people you work with. Maybe you are studying around mental health or in nursing or even just in your family. Sometimes it's difficult for people, even without mental health issues, to speak about how they feel. So today, you will learn some techniques that even for yourself, if you are feeling down, or if somebody else is having issues, you can find out how they are feeling without just saying, how are you? Because most people, when you ask them, how are you? Everybody says, fine, fine, even if they are not fine, fine. So today you will have some fun, your spirit will be uplifted, which means your vibration is uplifted, therefore your mental health will be more positive. So let's do this. You ready? I said, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right then, let's do. First of all, I'll have to thank uh, the media 
for being here today because a day like this, uh, a presence of the media make it highly known to the public. And then uh, uh, thank you VOD for coming and then, uh, uh, supporting this event. And then as well not forgetting all our partners out there that have supported us. Uh, uh, partners such as um, uh, Casa Gambia, uh, partners uh, uh, such as Ministry of Health the Gambia, uh, and then uh, to all other partners that participated toward this event. I could not also close this without thanking my team. Uh, they have been behind everything. As you see from us, it is a voluntary mental health organization. These are passionate individuals that want to change the narrative of mental health, uh, let it be more be caring of by the public and taking care of by the people. So in the sense, mental health should be for everybody. Let all players out there because mental health is everyone's business. We can't do anything in life without it. Even for us to have a successful society, we need people with positive mind thinking so that productivity can increase and we do common positive things. So mental health should be the priority agenda of the nation as far as development is concerned. Uh, today, World Mental Health Day is commemorated and will continue to be commemorated until the end of this month as it is observed mental health is a universal human right and it needs to be.